Ooh, there's a crawl fish. Okay, so unfortunately my GoPro wasn't recording. I went in first cast and uh, as I put the rod in the rod stand, I got like a little tubby there. Good way to start the morning, eh? not too bad. Let's see. So, he's coloring the water. Let's hope it's for a better day even, eh? All right guys, so uh, yeah, that was second cast. Second copy for the morning they pull up today <laughs> so yeah normal 5.0 I've got the sand now 5.0 fine wire must be fine wire small homemade dingle that's it Jock guns what he's doing it today okay today is uh, one of those days I wish I had a cameraman with me a fourth car is third fish and uh, starting to run out of breath as well <laughs> yeah beautiful cobbies get this one back I want to show you at the cup bottom jaw <laughs> stunning huh so oh, well, baby Kobe huh plain pussy This is a little per perfect, perfect little copy, yeah? Oh, beautiful coffee, yeah. this is really colored. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Beautiful. Oh, come on, Lois! You got by! Yes, you got me out! I just got fat! It's in the bakery! 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 It's in
Yeah, so I was going to show you guys a uh, little sardine bait on the dangle. Very, very simple. I uh, prefer to always have a bit of chocolate just as a base as well. You know, so if there's peckers, then oh, you'll be alright. You cut the two tail sections, the fillets off, you just use that as a base. Okay, so I like to do it inside out. The water's dirty, so you can, uh, no, want a bit more, more scent. If the water's clean, you can put the skin inside and out, so you know it. Uh, so much peckers in any case. Again, you use your cotton to to shape the bait. So just two tail cutters. Uh, there between the hook and the, the shank of the hook. Tie it off a bit there. To tie it off. Okay, that's a little bait. So now what I like to do just to make it even better. Just take uh, the belly layer. Open him up a bit and then uh, back him in the back. That's a good stuff. Let's do that. Yeah, quick bait, lots of scent, especially if the water's like a dirty. And anything from carbon to Blu ray, flatfish, anything will try this. If you just want to make that gap a bit more. So, okay, nice and soft there. Let's say, tie it off. Not a lot of people throw sardine bait anymore for some reason, it's such a deadly bait. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna put that in the water now. Shot, okay, so that's sardine bait. You can check the color of the water in the background there, it's like a milky greenish. Oh, it looks, looks like a I'm going to pop it just over the lip, so you can see the foamy water in the front and there's a, a small gut and a small bank in the back which you know, the bank's not really working every now and then as well, it's only working every now and then so I'm going to put it just in front of that little bank so in the gut you should get some flat food but the carb is definitely as well always make sure your drag knob is tight Boom, perfect. That's like 10 meters, 5 meters in front of the bank. Getting very positive. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh, clipper. Probably an eagle ray. Feels like eagles, but faster than a blue ray. Definitely not a cob. Little Melbourne, right? Give me like a hiding. Look at that. Woo! That was fun. Let's remove the uh, the hook. Hi, good morning, all. So, uh, yeah, we're doing a bit of a family mission at Picasso today. You can see behind me, it's, you know, the water's still a bit big and brown, so, but we're gonna have a throw up some Yun. Uh, we've got some red bait, we've got some, uh, some worm, and you know, the water temperature is good, but like I said, a bit strong. The water's very, very brown for some reason. I, I've got a feeling it might be uh, some red tide. Well, start of some red tide, so let's see what happens. But yeah, we're gonna give it a bash. It's a beautiful day. It's, uh, yesterday was a strong southeasterly, today's a northwester. So, if you can find some holes that's opened up, then uh, yeah, we should get in some fish. So, let's see what we can do. Catch you guys later. Okay, so yeah, that's a nice little cut about 37.5 centimeters. Okay, we're gonna put this one back, huh? What the hell, sir? Give me a little in this. No way. 
No way! 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 No Hi, good morning all. So, um, yeah, well, we, well, this morning we're doing a little solo mission. We're going to, well, I'm going to, uh, by the Falls Bay area. Uh, apparently it's flat, 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 flat. At least it's uh, it's overcast, um, and I think it's a northwesterly as well. So yesterday we had a big southeaster, um, and now the normally with the first northwest there is a bit of color in the water. So I am going for Khaljun, and maybe look for uh, maybe a coffee in between. I've got some moonshine worm, I've got some mussel, so I can pick up some red bait on the beaches. So it's not ideal conditions, but uh, yeah, we're gonna scratch around and see what we can, well, what I can find. And also, uh, I'm gonna start showing a bit more water, the, the type of water I'm fishing, trying to identify holes and uh, even in flat water, what you can be looking out for, because there's always something to be caught. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna stay home um, <laughs> if, uh, if the weather's not perfect. You're still gonna go to the beach. So um, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to get something, but yeah, maybe we can learn something and see what happens. Cool. Alright, chat later. Okay, so, yeah, just to give you guys an indication of uh, what good Khali water should look like. It is low tide now, so it will only get better. You see, there's a constant roll, a constant wave action. Yeah, will take. Now, it's clear to see where the waves are picking up in the back and starting to roll. Where they start to roll, that's where the water gets shallower and now it rolls over a sandbank. Now any little anomaly or any little difference in that roll, in that sandbank will indicate either a deeper hole or a little rock. Uh, so anything different that will attract fish. Um, it, it's attracted to any structure. You understand? So beautiful piece of Khali water this. Uh, water is stronger than what normally is here. So uh, yeah. This is a very good Khaljun color as well. It's, uh, it's not too too brown, it's not too clean, and yeah, again, there's always a bit of foam on the surface of the water, and really, really nice. All right, so here's a another beautiful stretch of water. Now, right in the back, rolling now, there's a white water there. Now it's going to dip away. That means it's going into a deeper gutter. There's a really deep gutter there, and now it's going to pick up again when it's in the front here. It starts picking up, picking up. So that's in a hole. As it picks up, toop, it needs a sandbank again. Very, very simple. So it's rolling on the sandbank. In that sandbank, you can see a lot of sand. It's a very shallow sandbank. Check it wave in the back again, right to the back. It's rolling, rolling, rolling. It might be a bit of scattered reef there. You'll see like uh, little puffs of extra sand, the little swirls in that. See, there it goes into the hole now. The white water disappeared. It picks up again, and there's definitely rocks in there. I'll show you guys later how to identify if there's any rocks or uh, there are deeper holes inside the hole. It's just how the water behaves. See here it breaks again, so it's a much shallower piece of water. Now watch this piece of water in the front now. It's still rolling, it's still rolling. There should be, there we go, it's still rolling. And now where the white water is now, there it hits a reef again. Okay, so this is really low water now. On high tide, it's a really good spot as well. Very foul, you can lose a lot of sinkers, but really good spot as well. Move around this way, you can also see a bit of a hole here. So yeah, just with anything, reading water, it's just really to get into the rhythm of the water on, on that day uh, at the moment um, anything different indicates something underwater either a hole or a rock or a reef so yeah it literally takes practice and the best thing would be take a rod and a sinker no bait no hooks try and read the water cast out as fast possible like a bottle sinker and just start winding and you'll feel where the sand is you'll feel where the rock starts and then you'll know that you're identifying uh, the water correctly okay so what I've done I've, I've put a sinker in that hole you see it's a okay a big the first set of rolling waves coming in now it's dipping away there's a hole there it's just rocks as my sinker landed it was actually around about yeah a bit further yeah 
because as my sinker landed I was stuck immediately so then I know there's rocks uh, you don't want to fish for whole unit grab sinkers and nylon grabs and that you need the sinker to do the work to roll around and to find the rocks and then let it get stuck if you lose a sinker you lose a sinker but when the fish is there it will loosen your sinker you understand so yeah this is yeah a very nice piece of water it's a bit inconsistent with the roll but there's definitely sandbanks lots of reef a bit of white water coming through every now and then so it's like a nice little gutter that's running through there so something might happen here i'll give another couple of minutes and just move along again just keep moving the whole time until you find something Woo, just missed him now damn it ah oh, just missed him uh, yo pulled halfway flat and then uh, he came in and i missed him like that so at least they here it felt like a solid bite so yeah that's uh some good news i'm putting a piece of red bait with a strong water see if it happens i've got some moonshine worm on here sticky man skein so i was gonna put a small sliver of red bait just with it so let's see what happens so hopefully you'll see where the thing is gonna land so make sure you have a secure footing otherwise you're gonna end up on your bum all right cut on perfect all right tighten up if you don't feel any any rocks then you know you're not in the right spot and wind in again and cast again okay i'm feeling rocks there perfect let's see what happens you need to feel rocks on clean sand you're not going to catch a gully not really maybe if you're lucky or certain areas but not in the fall space specifically we got the uh, our water is a lot shallow in general because there's a big bay so you're fishing in water like average a meter and a half deep uh so yeah it needs to it needs to hold fish i'll uh, give you another couple of seconds and i'm going to turn the camera off and then hopefully it goes back on again i'll be connected let's hope uh, so while watching this just have a look at the water you'll you'll definitely pick up a rhythm you'll see there's a hole on that side there's a hole close by you've got the sandy patch now the waves running up is going to pick up now boop picks up that's past the hole so behind that is a hole uh but a scattered reef uh not as sandy and uh, yeah it's, it's a nice little stretch at now yeah it's just a pity the water's dropping extremely fast it's getting low quick so i think this spot is about done then i have to look for another spot move around look for another spot as you can see there's a lot of clipper here a lot of rocks so yeah and it's slippery so yeah this is trumpet pavilion beautiful area as well very very good for cob as well really good for cob especially in flat water a couple of days of good south easter not big swell and the first and second day of the northwest that means that the water will drop a lot it will calm down a hell of a lot bring good color and then these fish come and sit on these reefs to feed yeah it's a quick little red bait circle okay nice little gape there uh, keep it nice and tight on the shank up against the line you want to have the reasonable size bait in the water so that's why i like to tie it up against the line so yeah it's bigger otherwise just a clump of reaper around the hook tied up against the shank it's like a soft piece there don't tie it up too tightly and then just catch it like that oh, so. okay now it's going to cast well well it should cast well it's nice and streamlined so yeah I still like my little bobble key float. I lost my toothpick though, so yeah. Ach, it's fine. Let's see what happens. And I haven't fished this specific spot off the pool wall for Hal Yun in a couple of years, so let's see what happens. There's uh, a lot of sand, a lot of white water, scattered reef. Uh, I see like, a hole up front here, just over the drop off, there's a little hole here. And then where the second wave, where it's breaking now, just watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. It picks up on the sandbank and there's a hole on the left. All right. I'll try and put the bait there. Oh. Unsaid so big. It should be interesting to get a big hole, you know, with these, over this little drop off onto these uh, rocks. So, <laughs> let's see. 
Uh, okay, there's a reef in the back. I can feel that. So that's already a good sign. You feel with my sinker it's stuck now. Yeah, let's wait for it. I hope you guys can see this. Look at that beautiful little school shrimp. I've never seen them swim like that before. Oh, really, really cool. Okay, I moved again. Found a little hikey here just over the lip. Got some red bait, still some red bait on, so yeah, let's see. Okay, so I found one rock in the hole. And now we wait. Yo, I've got a good feeling about this spot. There's a, you see the white water on the left? Okay, so that's a really shallow sand bank. You see the sand on it, in that white water. And then it just dips into this hole. There's no current, nothing in here. And right in the back, there you see on, on the right hand side again, there's like a rolling, little rolling bank. So that indicates a reef. It's a clean rolling bank, there's no sand on there. So it's just a reef that pops up and it washes a bit of white water into this hole. So I think now, especially with the lower tide, this deeper section should hold the fish. Okay, I'm due for one now. <laughs> See what happens, see what happens. Okay, so yeah, slow day today. I'm uh, changing my bait now from uh, red bait to some man's skin, but some moonshine. How's your Becky? It just runs up against the line. Pull it over the, the knot. I like to give the fish a little bubble key to feed on and that's it, just tie it up but nice and simple but, I think it's a bobble on here yeah, bobble, plain bobber key now these ones these boys they give you like a little hiding huh? Eh? take them like that, they can't really do anything huh? Eh? Just make sure when you take them, you take them properly, otherwise it's going to take you.